hi guys so in this class we are going to so going to download download the project what i have used in my api automation tutorials so that that you can use those api to practice parallelly okay when you'll see the videos you can directly uh, practice in your local system also so what i have done i have uploaded the project to the github and here it is the document through which you can uh, easily clone to your local system and you can start practicing so anyways i'll be showing you each and every details so before proceeding i would like to thank a couple of guys who has requested me to upload this uh, uh, project to github so bharti harsal salim khan arvin mukesh sumesh and ashwini pande thanks a lot guys for making me to upload this video so let's begin guys okay so see what is the prerequisite to download any project from github what you have to do you have first the basic prerequisite is you should have java you should have maven you should have eclipse and you should have git installed okay so for all those things i have steps mentioned over here just you can click on this link this link see here prerequisite for api so you can see like all steps each and every steps are there to install java see this is to install java and set up environment variable this is to install uh, maven along with the videos also i have given so everything is there right to set up uh, this java id that is eclipse you can download and uh, how to create maven project so this is not required just first uh, this two three and four these steps you need to first uh, do the initial setup okay after that you need to install git okay for git installation also i have uh, uploaded one video video that video is you can see over here and these are the steps okay with these steps you are able to uh, do the git setup easily in your system okay okay so now let's begin and start cloning okay so first what you have to do so so before going to clone we need to uh means we need to have some uh, folder structure ready okay so that uh, like it will be easy so what we can do we can create two folders like eclipse eclipse working directly and git project what we are going to download it or clone it from the github okay so let's begin and go here just right click click on new folder okay so whatever folder you can uh, means whatever name it is like on your, your wish okay so eclipse practice practice i have given one name and the other name other folder i'll create with github project okay github project yeah the two things is done now what we have to do we have to go inside this github project okay so you can see like we have went inside this this github project now after going inside this you have to right click here here i have mentioned each and every steps okay so you can easily follow go and right click and open uh, uh means the git bash here okay so this is what the git bash is and you can see this in this step see git bash here i have highlighted after uh, means when it will get launched it will be like this so every step i have given okay so no need to worry about anything anything just now what you have to do here here you have to go and write this command okay so when you will install your git right in your local local system then whenever you will right click here so you will able to see this option okay that uh, and when you will click this it will launch this one so that command you have to type it over here okay git clone and this is what the path of the uh, github okay where my project is i have kept okay so this is what the http github dot kkr spring uh, api practice project dot git okay so this is what the command just you have to type this command you can see here we have typed uh, similar commands over here okay so now just right click and paste it like that okay just click on enter button you can see like uh, it will start getting downloaded see download uh, is getting started right so so when you'll go to this right so you can find some uh, other uh, project and paths name okay so don't worry about that 
that just you have to clone the our intention is to clone the project okay see now we have cloned it and it got downloaded also so where is that folder where we opened our give see here you can see like our project got downloaded right see this is what our project got downloaded now what we have to do we have to go to the eclipse folder where we have created yeah eclipse practice right just you copy this path okay and one more thing i will show you see here i have given the path of the github if you want to see the code in github you can click here you can go see this is what the project i have uploaded over here okay so you can go and copy that path like from here also you know which is this path this is this path see this is this path okay just you can copy it from here also what you have to do just click on this see path for github i have given so just for simplicity i have uh, copied it over here okay just you need to copy it and just hit enter button in your git pass it will download everything for you okay now we are done with downloading the project from uh, github okay so now now what we have to do go to this eclipse practice folder location launch eclipse okay just control v you whatever the path you have copied no just control v and click on okay so it is recommended uh, guys to download this eclipse version okay neon 3.0 okay so it is good like very handy also easily all uh, you will not face any configuration problem okay so you can choose your own tools so, uh, means on your uh, eclipse versions also whatever you want but uh, it is recommended to use that so now let me uncheck this yeah and close this okay see now what you have to do now you again go to this folder okay where we have downloaded it just copy this okay just copy this location here right click import import type maven okay maven projects existing maven projects you have to select it over here click on next and paste the path where we have uh, cloned our uh, git project right we have downloaded it in this location so when you will paste the past path no then you will see here form.xml it means it is pointing to the correct place okay and click on finish the soon you will click on finish no it will start importing see here at the bottom you can see okay let me highlight it yeah see here you can see like it's it is getting downloaded it takes a bit time because in pom file we have uh, defined some dependencies okay and basically this is a spring project guys okay and uh, i am not a developer just a tester i have uh, studied few things in uh, spring boot and i have created this application just for uh, uh, just to show the demos like how in real time people used to use uh, apis and they used to hit they get the response how to a uh, filter response how to do assertion and all those things okay so might be many places some mistakes will be there so pardon for those so what will happen now it will take a bit time guys so let me pause the video over here so i think it will take around 20 minutes more than 20 minutes okay so i am pausing this video here once it will get uh, downloaded now no then i'll resume okay yeah i think we are almost done it took so long what i have done now just to make this video i have deleted my older repository so it is taking too much time otherwise it would have not taken this much time so yeah let's wait for some more time it will be done okay yeah good yeah good so you can click on this progress bar then the whatever download progress was showing you so it will be showing it to you guys also okay so now let me expand this and 
just go here see guys you can you may see this error see here one uh, red color icon is showing right it, it is telling some error is there in the project why it is telling no some uh, mismatch version of uh, this because of maven mismatch version okay so but it will not impact anything it will run as it is so it is asking me to downgrade my maven version to 3.1 so i have it downgraded that because i am uh, using this in my office so i cannot do that so for you also it's for some people this error came this may come this uh, red dot but don't worry about that it will not do anything okay it will not impact your testing just here right click on this file see here expand go to src main java then com dot little helper by kr little help by kr dot kr kr application java okay let me double click it and show you a few things i yeah see this is what the file is okay just what you have to do you have to go here right click run as java application okay see now it started where is console yeah let me expand it a bit so that you see it is starting a spring project yeah perfect see when you'll see you no know, this like question 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 like this this it means like uh, it is uh, it is running successfully see a red icon is there so it, it is telling like it is running so now we are uh, done with this uh, this uh, miss uh, downloading this project from the and let me show you quickly by hitting some apis okay so see this is what the api for get all users got able all available users okay see this we have one user available currently okay so this this application has built in such a way that if you are running for the initial time no no one one user will get added automatically okay let me add one more so this is what the payload is for adding new users you can use this payload and see this one user got created with id6 okay so let me hit get all users api so that we should get now two users right so first with id1 and second with one with id6 see how it is okay so one more video i'll be creating like how you can download this uh, postman so that will be my next video so uh, this postman and uh, how to configure these apis okay okay every details i have given so this is what we are done with uh, this cloning and we have one more postman installation okay so in this is uh, this postman how we can install postman and all those things along with these apis okay so this is what the git users api right get all users api this is what the slash pt81 get all users right so this is what it is okay so everything is given over here so in next video i'll be telling you anyway you can get this link and easily you can copy these payloads okay now now few things we should uh we should uh, be uh, means uh, keeping in mind okay you can see like i am running on this port okay 8081 might be some application which is already running in your system on this port then you will not able to hit this api using this port so in that case what you can do you just go over here go to src main and resources under this we have application dot properties file okay so you can change that see you can change it over here okay whatever port you want suppose 85 okay let me make it type by let me do control s let me stop this application let me go just right click here and run as java application okay so again it will show all those things spring so but at the end you will see some four question marks it means like it is done with the running means it is up and running so we are ready to hit the apis okay see again we have got first done so now see now let, let me try hitting this okay see what it is telling see it is telling could not could not send request right because our our application is running on this port okay 8085 so let me make it 8085 okay and hit this see we got the response right and initially we have one user right similarly if you want to add just you have to make it 
five and you can add some users okay let me go and hit the get all users one user id one more user get added with id6 right perfectly fine so this is what it is so one thing you should uh, keep in mind and other thing suppose suppose your application is not running and you are getting some error in some other places okay in that case what you can do you just right click here go to maven and update project click on this update project select this checkbox okay and then after click on okay so what it will do it will again down, download the dependencies and then it will be like available to you to run like this okay so this is what the second thing was there and one more thing suppose still you are facing in running this application then what you can do you can go to your m2 folder you can delete this repository folder you'll able to see one repository folder over here okay so just delete that and then just you right click run as maven maven and update maven project okay see maven update this one just you click on after that just you click on this okay so after that you will able to run this so this is what the three things are there you may face problem but i don't think whatever the things i have told no sequentially you just follow this you'll able to run this application okay and you you can practice easily okay and one more last thing sorry suppose suppose you are messed up with the data okay suppose something has happened okay in that case just what you have to do just stop this just right click here in this gear application.java run as java application that's it nothing then again it will get reset to initial stage okay with one user in get all users okay let me run it and show you yeah see it is four question mark it is up and running just let's go and hit this user see we have one user right see this, this is what perfect right now you can add a more user if you want okay so now let me hit this get user details see now we have two users perfectly fine right so this is what the few things you can face difficulties what i thought still if you are facing anything you can put it in a comment box and i'll try to clarify I'll try to see how I can help in those things. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.